Have you or someone else working in your spreadsheet ever deleted important information and you thought it was gone forever? Understanding how to access version histories in Google Sheets is crucial for collaboration and accountability in a shared workspace. It allows users to track changes made to spreadsheet over time, identify contributors, and revert to previous versions if necessary. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it all, so let's dig in. First, let's determine how you can tell who edited any specific cell within Google Sheets. It's very simple. In this example, I have case numbers with the date and timestamp of those case numbers. Throughout the day, employees are supposed to work the case numbers and then mark the case numbers as complete when they work them. What if you were doing an audit on one of these case numbers and you needed to see who marked complete on that specific case? All you need to do is right click on the cell with the check mark next to the case and then click on show edit history. Here you get a window that pops up that will tell you exactly who edited, what time they edited it, and what exactly they did. Now, let's touch on how to go back to a previous version of any spreadsheet. Let's say you open up this spreadsheet and you notice that there's a chunk of cases missing because someone deleted them accidentally. I need to have those case numbers for audit purposes. To go back to a previous version, just click on File and then hover over Version History. Then click on See Version History. From there, it'll show you each of the previous versions, which are times the spreadsheet was closed out or opened by you or someone else. From there, you can click on the checkbox at the bottom that says Show Changes. From there, you can click on the little arrow next to the latest versions to see those changes. Once you click on the little down arrow, you can click on each of the changes to see the latest version before the cases were deleted. It looks like this is the one I need right here because when I click on it, the case numbers and the timestamps are there and the checkboxes are filled out as completed. Since that's the version I need, I can click on the three dots next to that version and then click on Restore This Version you'll get a little window that pops up. Just click on Restore. One thing to remember is that as soon as you click Restore, any changes made after deleting those cells will be lost. But at least you have the important case numbers now. And that is version history in a nutshell.